My rat, Sweet Baby One, died recently. He was the progenitor of the entire Sweet Baby series, so I'm, I'm a little bummed. Despite this, I'm going to do a little anger management class with one of those pesky dames. When has being nice about something ever won struggles? What am I, a goddamn historian? How the fuck should I know? Fuck you. I'm sorry. I'm still a little emotional over my loss. Well, in interpersonal communications class, we learned that being angry when delivering a message tends to put your audience on the defensive and less receptive to that message. So, I guess you, the question would be, what kind of struggle are you engaged in? If it's a physical struggle to the death, then being nice is definitely contraindicated for that. But, if it's one of these spreading messages, verbally kind of thing, then yeah, being nice is probably something you should do if you want people to be receptive to your message. Interpersonal communication. The suffragettes didn't get their votes because they asked politely. The black civil rights movement didn't have their successes in America because they were sweet and kind. People fucking fought. Right? I'm so sick of people telling me that we have to be nice as feminists. I'm so sick of people telling me that I need to be less of an asshole. Of course, on reflection, they might be telling me that so often because I'm an asshole. That we have to go out of our way to tell us how much men mean to us and how they're such wonderful, wonderful allies. Like, that we have to be less angry in case we alienate people. Wait, I'm fucking angry. I'm with you, sister. If I went into Great Clips and they fucked my shit up like that, I would be pissed. Right? And I have a right to be angry. There is so much for me to be angry about. There's, a, there's plenty of stuff for me to be angry about. You don't see me gassing on about it the entire live long day. But now that you've given me the opportunity, I think I will. Just the other day, I went into Walmart. And I go through the self-checkouts because I hate people and dealing with them. That's a little fact about me. Now, I get to the self-checkout, and as usual, the person in front of me has no fucking clue how to use the self-checkout, and it's like, do I just have bad luck that I always end up behind the person who's using it for the first time, or is every motherfucker on this planet a complete retard? I can zip through that thing in like 35 seconds, even when I have 20 items, get it done, get out the door. It is a travesty how long it takes people. But Anyway, this woman, after like painfully slowly getting all of her items through there she starts writing a goddamn check the one form of tender that this motherfucking machine won't take and I'm like oh my god my blood pressure I am not going to survive the day <sighs> I'm glad I got that off my chest there is so much pain and injustice and bullshit that I and others face on the day to day that I just couldn't possibly not be angry so, much like a child, you're a complete slave to your emotions. Oh shit, I just said slave to a black girl. But still, uh, like a child, you are unable to control your emotions. That's better. And because I'm so furious, so genuinely furious, I can't just turn it off when it's convenient. Well, I have some bad news. If you want to be an adult in a little thing we call civilization, you're going to have to learn how to control your emotions. Now, I don't know if you should meditate, I think you should probably take some Prozac or beta blockers or some shit, but if you want to function as an adult in civilization, you do have to control your emotions. If nothing else, it's not very bright to just walk around with your emotions going crazy all unchecked because it makes you predictable and it makes you easy to manipulate. Might be why you're uh, involved with feminism, who knows. Like, even if it was possible, I would refuse to. Why should I? Why should I play nicely nicely so that I don't offend some liberal wanker who's making it all about them? Well, here's the thing. We all have feelings about things, but if we want to have a productive, rational discussion about issues and potential courses of action, we have to set those feelings aside and discuss things logically and factually. So when you say, Fuck all that shit, my feelings is feely. Well, you're kind of making it all about you. Wait, if you're going to be offended or upset or scared off by my anger, then clearly you're not the kind of ally that I want or need. I need someone who is angry with me, who's furious and fighting. Really? Because uh, you seem to be an emotional wrecking ball. It seems like the best ally you could hope for is one who 
thought things through, was logical, wasn't just in the grips of all kinds of emotions. I'm not offering, by the way, because I just don't give a fuck. This is why I'm bored sick of liberal feminists who, you know, the, the really wishy-washy kind of feminists, the kind who say, oh, but we have to remember to include the men, be nice to the men, they could be our allies. I, I don't care. I don't care. I genuinely don't care. Now wait just a second. You're a feminist, so that means that you believe that there's this overarching power structure called the patriarchy made for and by men to benefit men at the expense of women, and that women are oppressed. All right. If this paradigm is correct, then, logically, you as an oppressed person are more or less powerless, and you only have recourse in uh, appealing to those who run this oppressive system, the men. Ergo, the only logical course of action for you to pursue as a feminist is to have men as allies. Not that I, I agree with any of that shit, I'm just saying. I know plenty of brilliant, amazing, wonderful men, I'm not going to name them because they don't need their egos boosted, but um, who work really, really, really hard. I don't say this often, but you're a terrible person. To be amazing allies and they support my anger and they rage with me. You know, they weren't scared off by my anger. They, my fighting spirit, they, they weren't, they joined in, right? These are the men that we need, and they don't ask for fucking cookies, they don't ask to be patted on the head and said, well done, you're such amazing allies. They don't need that. Again, you are a terrible fucking person. You know, when I have some submissive bitches doing my bidding, I, at the very least, give them some cookies and pats on the head. I mean, that's just common, uh, pimpmanship. What the fuck is wrong with you? Like... Why should they have that? And, you know, these, these, these are the men we need, right? Yes, men that will go along with whatever crazy bullshit you're spouting and not ask for a thing in return. They sound kind of like total fucking losers to me, but hey, matter of perspective, right? Not the ones who are going to sit there and be like, oh, what about the men, guys? Or like, oh, look what amazing work I did. Like, reward me. No. Like... No, I'm sick of it, and I'm sick of the fact that so many supposedly like feminist discussions end up just being about men and how to coddle them. Like, I, it's a waste of fucking time for a start when you could be talking about real problems. Such as? Or doing things. Action, I swear to God, this is a concept that people forget about. Like, I swear, like, we need to get over, people need to get over, like, their fear of of frightening people because you haven't pandered to them enough. Well, let me share with you the dirty little secret of getting anything accomplished in this world. And that dirty secret is compromise. Now, in your case, it wouldn't be that hard to compromise a couple things and get your message across a lot better. For instance, you could not appear to be so filled with crazy and angry that it is exploding out of the top of your head and fucking up your hair in the process. And then, people might actually listen to you instead of just roll their eyes and back away like you're a bag lady talking about her cats. And get out there and fucking do things. You know, feminism isn't tea and fucking cake or arts and fucking crafts. Okay, maybe I'm being a little bit, a little bit harsh. Yeah, maybe I'm being a bit harsh. The thing is, uh, we're socialized as women to 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 be quiet and polite and nice and and meek we're taught not to rub people up the wrong way not to be confrontational and it is scary to be confrontational all right i am going to need the names of the people who socialized you to do these things because they are going to get a stern talking to about the quality of their work I know, I know that like, you know, this is something that we've been taught is, is rude and horrible and nasty, but you know, we need to do it. And you know, it's time that we stopped talking about who we need to pat on the head next. Well, there's a little bit more of this video, but I'm growing bored. One last word of advice, you know, you shouldn't pat people on the heads or cuddle them or blah 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 blah, but word of advice. Quit focusing on your own emotions like you're a fucking infant. Just my little bit of advice. Have a nice day, angry dame.